Ash Creek Baptist Church is celebrating its 150th anniversary on September 18th and 19th, 2021. The planning committee, consisting of Carolyn Stevens, Kathy Fowler, Larry Marks, Patsy Springfield, Casey Gibbs, Margie Shotwell, Brother Wesley Shotwell, J.K. Wager, and Rex Bellauer have planned events for all ages. A memory quilt to commemorate this historic occasion has been made by the COVID-19 mask team. After making over 5,000 face masks, they pieced together the scraps to make the quilt. These talented quilters are Julie Taylor, Linda Whitaker, and Mary Pennington. The following are interviews with church members telling us about their memories and about their family members who helped build the church. So I'll start off the interviews. My name is Rex Ansley Bellauer. My great-great-grandmother, Sarah Elizabeth Hoggard, was a charter member in, in 1871. My mother, Gertie Ansley, was a member here for about four, 60 years, and she was the church librarian in 1980. My two brothers and I grew up in the church, and we were baptized in the 1950s in the original 1891 church building. My fondest memories are a vacation Bible school and making crafts under the trees where the TMP now stands. We had Valentine banquets and the youth put on action, live action crazy plays and we still talk about them when we get together because a lot of us are still here. Now let's hear what others have to say. My name is Dicey Davis Rowden. During the summer, 76 years ago, we had a revival and I accepted Jesus as my Savior. I have depended on Him ever since, even though He hasn't been able to say the same about me. At that time, we were all baptized in the lake at the end of the road. Brother Henley was our pastor at that time. My father, Bill Davis, served as a deacon. We had another pastor who we thought so much of, Brother Beard, who was led to become an evangelist. evangelist. All the people in those days we loved dearly. My name is Christine Rowden Sellers. I've been in the church whenever I was young. I don't remember the first time I was taken there because I'm sure I was a baby. Uh, they took us to the church and we were in the old the original church, and that was in the 50s. I remember White Murphy taking my hand when I was very young and walking us, walking me down to the front uh, to the pastor and them introducing us as it was our birthdays. And uh, I was very young and felt very good that he would come by and get my hand and take me down. I remember that very well. Uh, <clears throat> I remember having uh, lunches on the grounds at the church, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I remember revivals back then. We had a lot of revivals, and I remember going to them. I remember the basement was where I was saved and baptized, and that was sometime in the early 60s, or in the 60s. It was during a, a revival. I also remember my grandmother and granddaddy uh, taking the recorder around. They would record the services and they would take them to the uh, homebound and the ones in the rest home. Of course, back then we only had the one rest home. Uh, but that's about all I remember whenever I was young. Hi, uh, my name is Nancy Conwell Davis and my mother was Martha Laura Reynolds Conwell, and she was the daughter of John Giles Reynolds, and who was he and his my grandmother were great grandmother were original members of Ash Creek Baptist Church, and I remember mother of course was a lifetime member, but we moved as a child to West Texas or when I was born there, and we did not move back until I was almost 12 years old, 
And when mm -hmm. I remember when I was 12 years old and we moved back, it was 1948, and uh, they were having a revival at Ash Creek. And they had a very dynamic preacher, and he scared me to death. And I came down and moved my membership. I'd been saved at Brushy Baptist Church in West Texas. But I went down by myself and joined the church. And I remember my mother was not happy with me because she wanted uh, us all to go down as a family. And, of course, I went down by myself. And I, I remember always going to GAs. I love GAs. And we, our camp then was Camp Copas near Denton on the lake. And I guess it's Grapevine Lake. Anyway, Mrs. Pascal and uh, Pauline Howard were our leaders. And we had a wonderful time. It was hot, but I do remember a, for, I did win the Star Camper Award at camp that, that year. I remember us having campfires out by the lake and sitting around on logs and, you know, having Bible stories and singing, and it was lots of fun. Uh, I remember also as a youth, we'd go out in the country and have a hayride and a hot dog cookout at Dicey Rowden's mother, Mary, Mary Davis and her husband's out in the country. And that was really a fun time. Also, remember my friends and I sitting on the back seat at, of church because we'd be having a, sleepy, a slumber party the night before we stayed away and then we couldn't stay awake at church. So then we were back there passing notes and trying to stay awake on the back seat. And I also uh, remember taking piano lessons back then and I would, on the way home I'd walk, of course, everywhere. And we'd, I'd stop by the church and you could just walk in and I'd practice piano on the way, on the way home. And I also uh, remember uh, <coughs> Mrs. Bales, you know, when I was a young, younger, a teenager, I think it was Brother Baird that was there, and he bought this big blue bus, it was a school bus, only it was painted blue. And we'd go places in that blue bus, and one thing he had us do as teenagers, Castle Hills was a new addition at that time, a very awkward new addition. Didn't even have uh, foundation boards around it. They were up on blocks at that time. He took us all the teenagers up there to take a census. And it was scary because they had dogs that were barking and mean, and the people were not exactly friendly. And so, but anyway, it was still a good a time that you remember and that was good. And, the, and also, another thing we did on that big blue bus that I particularly remember was we went to the Billy Graham Revival in downtown at, I think it was Farrington Field. Anyway, it was wonderful. I never will forget how impressed I was with that revival. Billy Graham was wonderful, and Cliff Barrows leading the music, and uh, George Beverly Shay, Shay singing his solos was so good. I made a scrapbook at the time, which I still have, that have all about all of that, in the revival in that scrapbook. And now I don't know what to do with it. Nobody wants it. But anyway, and I remember other times, of course, I met my husband at Ash Creek Baptist Church. <coughs> uh, he came, he and his family started, and he was 25 years old at the time. And uh, he was saved at 25 years old. And uh, then I, met, I was 15 at the time when I met him. And then uh, in 1953, we were married, and I remember thinking, going down that aisle, which I've included a picture to show. Anyway, that was the longest aisle. And then when I look at it now, I think, oh, my, that's not long at all. <laughs> anyway, uh, after marriage, and we lived in California for a few years, well, we moved back, and I worked in the nursery with Pauline Bell. And the nursery was a barrack building kind of building, back behind the old church house mm -hmm. and we went through there was a door back there about where the bathroom is now and we went through there to go to that to the nursery and the two and three year olds and the three and fours were all back there but anyway I worked with Pauline and the bed babies for several years and it was fun uh, and then uh, finally I worked in the nursery even when they built when the nursery was down in the basement I mean the young it was all down the basement and that's when they'd built it upstairs finally. And I was still working in the nursery, and I was about 40 years old, and I decided, I think I need some adult studying and some adult friends. 
And so I quit working in the nursery and never did work there again. In, anyway, there's many, many memories. I also remember when I was a teenager, my mother was head of training union. And I, I always remember that. It was fun. And I remember, oh, another thing I remember as a te young teenager, that's when that building that you're go that's going to be torn down was built. And uh, Mr. King and Mr. Bales built that building, or mostly, after they got home from work. They would come down there and build on that building. And I would go down there and hand them board so they wouldn't have to go up and down the ladder so much. And anyway, it was a fun time. And then when it was finished, we were all so excited because we had a room. And it was up, we got on the second floor. I remember that we had training in Sunday school and everything in those rooms up there. And that was a fun time also. Of course, there's many, many other memories through the years, more than I could even think, because my children were all baptized there. And anyway, I just remember it was... It's been a wonderful time going to Ash Creek all the years.